Are you curious about the book of Hebrews? Let me elaborate. Have you ever wondered why is it important that Jesus fulfilled the Jewish law? I'm not Jewish. I've never lived in Israel. Why should I care about what God said to an ancient nation? Well, Hebrews chapter 1, verse 1 and 2 says, Long ago, at many times, in many ways, God spoke to our fathers through the prophets. But in these last days, he has spoken to us by his son. If you want to understand what the book of Hebrews is saying, you have to understand the context in which it is saying it. If you want to understand what Jesus is saying, you have to understand what the Jewish law was. Now, salvation is about believing that Jesus died on the cross and rose again and believing that Jesus is your Lord and Savior. If you want to go to heaven, that is what is involved. But if you want to understand who God is, you have to go back to the Old Testament. We wouldn't understand what faith is without the story of Abraham, the father of faith. We wouldn't understand what it means to follow God 100% without these stories of these great men and women of faith. People like Moses, Joshua, David, people like Ruth that gave God their all. As you were reading the book of Hebrews, there are a lot of big concepts that are talked about. And you can use that as an opportunity for your eyes to glaze over and you can go to Eric and say, yes, I read the book of Hebrews that week, this week. You can say that. Or when you read something that doesn't make sense, you can be curious. You can do some Google searches. You can use blueletterbible.com or Bible Gateway to access free Bible resources to find out who exactly was the high priest. Why was the Jewish law so important? Was it, what is it about following rules that was so important to God? These are all questions that the Bible talks about. And I will be surprised if you read the entire book of Hebrews in one setting and learn everything there is about the book of Hebrews. That's not the point. That's not what we're talking about. As you read this book this week, I hope that you learn one valuable piece of information. I hope that you just walk away with a couple of ideas, something that polishes your faith just a little bit more so that the next time you struggle, you can remember a piece of encouragement. You can remember Hebrews chapter, chapter 11, the hall of faith of these people that believed God and it says that they never received the things that they hoped for. This week, I hope that you are curious about the book of Hebrews.